Welcome back to God Driven TV with your boy LaShawn Taylor. Man, let me go ahead and apologize to y'all first. I already know how y'all might be feeling. Like, bro, where you been at all this time? Where, where, where you been at? Like, you ain't been giving us no content, no new videos. What are you doing, bro? But I'm back, all right? So today we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make Cricut uh, stickers. Stickers on your Cricut device using the print and cut feature in the Cricut design space. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into this video let's do it i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to basically uh get pictures from google well not pictures but stickers from google if you just want to like decorate like your laptop or if you want to decorate your uh cricket machines or just put stickers around the house you know i'm gonna show you how to take stickers from google put them in your cricket design space and uh get them cut out that way so i'm gonna go ahead and go to Safari. One sticker I thought about was an entrepreneur sticker, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in entrepreneur stickers and just see what comes up on Google. All right, I see one that just caught my eye first up millionaire loading. So, I'm, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just save that image. To downloads all right yeah, I like that one let's see if I can find another one hustle mode I like that too take that hustle mode save image to downloads I'm gonna type in New York stickers New York stickers see what comes up yeah, I figured they have a bunch of stickers that were pretty dope. A lot of these are pretty dope, you know? A lot of these. A lot of these. I actually kind of like this one right here. I love New York. Yeah, let's save that one. Save image to downloads. And basically what I'm doing, like if you have a regular laptop, you would right click and right click the image and then save to downloads that way and so let's see if they got like a hustle sticker with the ingredients because that would be a dope sticker right there sticker yep and they actually do yo this success right here black and gold i like this you know what, we might, yeah, I'm going to do this one. Save and Mr. Downloads. This is actually dope, too. I like this. So, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to Downloads. And these are the four stickers that I have. And what I'm going to go ahead and do for the I Love New York sticker. Let me pull that up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and add to photos. And then go to downloads. I'm going to find it in my downloads. And I'm going to go ahead and rename it because with that last ending... Cricut actually doesn't support that. Web P, so I'm going to change it to PNG. And use PNG. So that way when I uh, go to put it in the Cricut design space, well, I'm going to show you. When I put it in the Cricut design space, it's going to pop up for me. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, download, add each of these to my photos. Add to photos. Awesome mode. Add the photos. And millionaire, add the photos. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and X these out. And then pull up my Cricut design space. From there, I'm gonna hit new. 
Oh, there is already on new upload, upload image, and then browse. It should be in my recents folder. Yup. Recents. And I'll go to that image. So from here, I'm going to hit complex because I still want it to be cut out as a sticker. And complex is going to make sure that like when I get it transparent, that it still makes it look like a sticker. So I'm going to get that background out. Take that background. I'm going to leave this part. And then hit apply. And then what you want to press is print then cut image because I'm going to because that's what gets it as a sticker. Let me change the name to. I, I love New York. I love New York. If you didn't know I'm from New York. Upload. That's uploaded. I'm going to get my other images put in here. Recent. Success. I'm going to do the same with those. Complex. Continue. Take the background out. Change this name. Success. Ingredients. Print and cut image. Upload. Let's do the same with the other two. Hustle mode, complex, take that background, oh yeah. I love how Cricut makes this process pretty easy. Change the name on this one too. Hustle mode, print and cut, then upload. And then for my last one, do the same thing. Millionaire. Complex. Continue. Get that background out. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to put this one out. Put this one. And I'm probably going to apply these on my Cricut machine on the inside. Apply and continue. Print and cut. So you don't want to hit cut image because it's not going to uh, cut the exact image the way that you want it to. It's not going to come in the form as a sticker. You only do cut image when it's like vinyl. I'm going to name this one Millionaire. And then upload that. And now I got all my pictures right here. So I'm going to click on each one of those and hit add to canvas. And here are all four of my images. This one is the biggest. So as far as sizing, I'm going to leave these three the exact size. I'm just going to change the sizing on this one and try to match up the other three. This one. So I'm going to keep the, the sizes like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and press make it. And you'll see this screen right here showing you your stickers. I'm gonna give it a little space, even though you don't necessarily have to, but I just want to. Get these stickers just a little space to breathe. Like, why are you so close, bro? Give it a little uh, space to breathe. And for these stickers, you want to make sure that you do not mirror. Make sure this is off. Do not mirror it because uh, if you mirror it, mirror it, it's just going to cut the stickers backwards like this. And you don't want that. So make sure it's off. Hit continue. Send to printer. 
and I'm using my WF7710. I'm gonna make sure that the bleed is on. The bleed will just uh, give it a little extra space when cutting to make sure that it cuts the exact amount of the sticker and doesn't go over. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, paper in the printer and I'm gonna get these printed out. All right, here's the paper that I'm gonna be using. Hopefully you can tell, but one side is glossy and the other side is pretty dull. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is put, I already have paper in the printer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this sticker paper with the glossy side face down like that. Put it in there. And with this 7710, uh, the sizing is eight and a half by 11. And then the paper type I'm going to use is glossy. Hit close. I'm gonna make sure this is out. And uh, oh yeah, for the paper, I can't remember off the top of my head the name of it, but I'm gonna make sure I link it in the in my Amazon store. Uh, and that'll be uh, linked in the description so that you can see all the products that I use for this video. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit print on my Cricut Design Space so it can send to the printer and print. All right, and I sent it to the printer and it is printing out now. And it actually comes out pretty glossy when you print with this paper, when you print it out. It actually looks really good. And everything looks exactly how it looks on your Cricut Design Space. It's pretty dope. And you wanna make sure that it's inside this black square, I'll call it. Cause that a lot helps it calibrate to make sure that it gets the exact cup that you're looking for. So what we're gonna go ahead and do next is place it on our Cricut mat. All right. And we're gonna make sure that it is lined up at the corner, the same way that it is lined up on your Cricut design space. You're gonna make sure that it's laying flat. Some people like to use tape to make sure it's laying flat, but if your mat is sticky enough, you don't necessarily need to use tape. Okay, so on your Cricut Design Space, we're gonna go ahead and, well, matter of fact, before we insert it, I'm gonna show you on the laptop what to do next. For the material, I'll type in sticker and see if that comes up like sticker paper that's the type you can use yep I'm gonna go ahead and use principal sticker paper white as the option and hit done now we're gonna go ahead and insert the sticker paper in the, in the machine I'm using the Cricut maker All right, now that the cut is finished, we're gonna, have, gonna go ahead and unload it. All right. And you can you can see on the mat, on the paper, that the where the cuts were made. It actually did a great job cutting it out, too. All right, but how we're gonna do it, we're gonna take our weeding tool, leave it on the paper, and basically we're gonna what I did was went at an edge where I seen a cut and kind of just took it up and it came right up. And all you have to do is just peel the rest of the paper. And you can see where each sticker was falling. <laughs> Sticking on something else. All right, and we got our stickers right here. Now for the magic, I gotta figure out we're on the machine, I'm gonna place each one. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this sticker right on top of here so 
I don't forget, you know? That's like a little motivation. And as you can see, it really does stick on. It really does work. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one. I'm going to put this one on top too. Hustle mode is on. It's because it's on and popping out here. You know what I'm saying? Just like that. Like that. Like that. See, that's a little different. See, I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a close up too. All right, guys, and that is it for the video. That is how you make custom stickers. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Yo, if you have not heard, I have a new ebook out. It is called Hack Talk from Zero to 60,000 How to Grow Your Following on TikTok and Capitalize. It is only $20 right now. I will leave the link for the ebook in the description. It's going to show you all the ways of how I went from zero to 60,000 plus followers on TikTok with all my tips and tricks. You don't want to miss out on this ebook. Again, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. But yo, keep applying pressure to life because life has no boundaries. We out till next time. Show me, Lord, show me.